what type of business do you want? Um, because there are different, really four primary categories of business. And each of these categories has its own level of effort that's gonna be required from you to operate it or to find somebody to operate it. And um, also it's gonna have a different level of profit. So there's no right or wrong answer here. It just really depends on what you're looking for. And what you may ultimately find is that you build a portfolio of several businesses and they fall into different ones of these categories. And maybe you uh, acquire one of these and you move it to a different category that makes it more valuable. But if we look at uh, having two axes, one that is going from bottom to top, that's the one in the middle there, that, that kind of gold colored arrow, uh, that is the effort axis. And so on the bottom, the companies that fall on the bottom are going to be lower effort to work and earn profits from. And the ones that cross the other axis are going to be higher effort. And the one that is on the axis that goes left to right um, across the middle there, that is the profit axis. And so the companies that fall on the left of that are going to be lower profit companies. And the ones that fall on the right of it are going to be higher profit companies. So that allows us to create a quadrant uh, where we have four different types of companies. And down in the lower left quadrant, you'll see that I've got passive business. So a passive business is one where you don't have to do anything at all. It is a very, very low effort because it is just earning money and really nothing has to be done to it. Um, but because it's passive, you're going to have more expenses because you're going to have people that are running it and therefore your labor costs are going to be higher. And um, there may be other things too because you're not, you're not getting the benefit of your labor, right? You've got to have a third person running it. Um, and again, I like third people running all of my companies, um, but also it's, a pass, it's defined as a passive business where you kind of set it and forget it. Those typically will have lower profits. Um, so that could be uh, simply a real estate investment portfolio company or something like that. Typically, that's going to be a portfolio company that already exists and has uh, some components to it where you've, you've got managers and people running it for you. Now, if we say, well, I, I, I get that. Uh, what could I do that is uh, lower effort but higher profits? Well, that's when we go over to the right. And you can see that that find and flip businesses category is a very, very low effort and a very, very high profit. And here's why. When we're finding and flipping businesses, just like if you've, I'm sure you've heard of flipping houses. So you can flip businesses just like you flip houses. And so in a business flip, it's where we go out, we find a business that has tremendous opportunity. We find a motivated seller who uh, doesn't want or doesn't know how or can't for whatever reason take advantage of going to market at full market value. And we cut a deal to acquire that business with no money out of pocket. And I have several strategies for doing that. Now we, we've acquired that business or we've acquired the right to acquire that business. And then we just go out and find somebody else who is wanting to buy a business like that. And um, we sell that business to them. So the reason it's very low effort, while it takes some effort to identify the business to acquire and to identify the buyer, you never have to run the business. You don't ever have to worry about anything about running the business. You're simply flipping it. So that's why it's low effort. And it's very high profit because if you annualize, like let's say that you spend a month identifying a business to flip and you flip it and you make $200,000, uh, that's pretty crazy, right? That's great money. You made $200,000 in a month. So I really like that from a low effort and very high return kind of perspective. Then over in the upper left quadrant, we've got lifestyle businesses. So they're lower profits because we've made conscious decisions that we don't want to grow them aggressively. So really all a lifestyle business is in differing from a scalable business is it, it's a business that is pre-scale. It's one that they've said, for whatever reason, we're creating an artificial limitation on the business so that we have a very high quality of life so that we can have uh, not uh, as much risk 
as we would have and not as much effort as we would have to go out and grow it beyond a certain point. So you see a lot of lifestyle businesses that are generating somewhere between 100,000 and $3 million a year. Um, when you get a little bit over two or $3 million a year in profits, you're, you're really gonna have to start scaling and bringing in management structures and things like that. So that's lifestyle businesses. And then last but not least, our favorite kind of business um, that we're really after is a scalable business. And the scalable business there on the upper right side is uh, a business that has high profit, but it also has high effort. So it's got very high profit and very high profit potential. The reason that it takes a lot of effort is that we're gonna actually get in there and grow the business. Now, we're not going to ideally work in the business. Remember back a couple of videos, we talked about working above the business. The business should be the product or service. We don't wanna open the doors, sweep the floors. We also don't wanna be hiring the managers and that kind of stuff. We wanna bring in an operator or ideally acquire a business that already has an operator and then do all the things that working above the business involves. Uh, that's really, the difference of these different types of categories of business. So it's just something to kind of help guide you as you are creating your acquisition criteria. Decide, do I want my first acquisition to be very low effort and not that much profit? I mean, obviously you'd like to have more, but I, the low effort here is winning out. And then I'm gonna acquire a passive business. Or maybe you're like, I'm gung ho, I'm 100% in, I'm gonna do everything I need to do. I wanna dedicate all my time to making this happen. And you're gonna go after a scalable business that you can acquire and then grow. Um, or you may settle somewhere in between with a lifestyle or a find and flip. But this is a good way to get a couple of ideas on what might be right for you. If you want a lot of additional really cool stuff, I've got a whole channel full of it and you should subscribe so that you don't miss any of it. Because I'm uploading videos all the time. There's a lot of things that are changing in this area and you don't want to miss out. You don't want to do it wrong and you don't want to make the mistakes I made. Subscribe so that you don't miss out and then check out this next video.